Hey Gadfeeders, welcome back. We're going to talk about gastritis diet today. Highly requested from you. Thank you everybody who watched the first video, which was about gastritis symptoms and what really causes your gastritis. If you haven't watched that already, make sure you do. It's linked in the description below and also up here. I'd love to give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is one of the best learning platforms out there with online classes from practitioners all over the world. I've been using Skillshare since a few months now and I love watching my colleagues. They have about diet, about healthy living, classes on cooking, how to do easy meal prep, but also healthy exercises like yin yoga. Really cool thing is that you get something out of that sponsorship as well as a gut feeler if you like two months of premium membership. You can try everything out for free. We sign up with the link below, which I link in the description. Courses you might like and to check out are courses on sprouts. They have how to grow sprouts and microgreens. This was one of your questions that you ask a lot. I'm going to produce a video as well. This is a no-brainer, guys. Check out the platform below, Skillshare. Two months, everything for free. If you like it, you can stay for $10 a month. Click the link down below in the description. In this video, we focus on how you can heal your gastritis with certain types of food. You're also going to learn in the video what you should eat, what you shouldn't eat, the best healing routines that you can incorporate in your daily life. There are going to be three of them and two healing herbs that you can include as well to speed up the healing journey for your gastritis symptoms, for this abdominal pain, for this feeling, oh God, as acid coming up and I don't know what to do. After this video, you know exactly what to do. And in the bonus tip, in the end, I'm going to give you something if you can just do one simple, small step at a time, what would the most powerful step would be. If you're watching the first time, my name is Peggy Schirmer. Welcome to Gut Feelings. On the channel, we help you cleanse your body from toxins and to improve your digestion so you can get your full energy back no matter where you are right now in your healing journey. Number one, let's talk about healing routines. Three healing routines that you in can incorporate if you want to heal from gastritis naturally. After waking up, I highly recommend you to do celery juice. If celery juice is something new for you, make sure you watch the playlist below. It's all about celery juice and its healing benefits. Why is celery juice amazing? 16 ounces, drinking 16 ounces of straight celery juice, not blended, juiced, 16 ounces, empty stomach, first thing in the morning. Why? Because it kills off, for example, pathogens like H. pylori. It helps you to majorly rebuild your good stomach acid, which no stomach acid pill can do because stomach acid pills, guys, this is one type of acid, which is in this pill, which is in the HCL, HCL pill. It actually offsets the balance. Your stomach acid is not just one acid. It's a blend of different acids. We haven't found this out with medical knowledge yet. So we are still a little bit behind, which is always the case if you watch for scientific studies. But with celery juice, you'll be able to rebuild the stomach acid and you lower the inflammation and the pain in the stomach. It's very soothing as well. If you want to include that, it needs to be done on a daily basis because it's compound effect. It builds on top of each other. So it's not just drinking one time celery juice and all your stomach acid is back, the good stomach acid, and the inflammation is down and the, uh, all the pathogens are dead. It's not, it doesn't work like that. Nature takes its time to heal. Again, if you're wondering about, actually, I have so much acid, I want to get rid of the acid, make sure you watch the video about what really causes your gastritis because it's not your good stomach acid. So first thing when you wake up, drink celery juice, 16 ounces straight. Second time, second thing, snacking. If you, what you're going to snack if you get hungry throughout the day is coconut water. Make sure one of those snacks is two cups of coconut water. Coconut water, fresh is the best, but if you don't live in the tropics like me, lucky me, then you can also get it out of a, out of a container. Organic is best though. It's highly alkaline for your body. It detoxifies your stomach and it gives a soothing feeling for your stomach lining, calms everything down. Also contains healthy glucose, which is great for your brain and your liver to restore the glycogen levels. So celery juice after waking up, in between whenever you feel hungry, snacks, two cups of coconut water throughout the day. And third routine, third healing routine to heal your gastritis symptoms with diet is before you go to bed is 
aloe vera juice. This is a beautiful aloe vera leaf, comes here from Panama. If you can get fresh aloe vera, this is what you do. Like this amount. Voila. Yeah, here you have it. And then you cut it open. I don't do that now because everything will get <laughs> just dirty. Um, you cut it open here and then you scoop it out the gel. If you're hardcore like me, you can just eat the gel like this. It's like have a super slimy in the mouth. If you don't are hardcore, that's fine as well. Put it in a blender with a little bit of water, one cup of water, blend it up and drink it. And what that will do for you, aloe vera juice helps to heal your scar tissue inside your stomach. It's super soothing. It lowers inflammation in the gut and just calms down all the riot. You know, you have so much, you, you feel like everything is red. And one of my clients mentioned, he's, he said, oh, it's like broken glass in the stomach. This is isolating. This is, makes all the broken glass like round and, and, less, and less painful. So two tablespoons of aloe vera gel. If you have fresh aloe vera, you can do that. Or you use 100 milliliter of a gel from a bottle. And you can also blend that up with water or drink it pure. Okay, guys, three healing routines. Number one, we're going to do celery juice in the morning on an empty stomach. Then in between two cups of coconut water and aloe vera juice, aloe vera gel, two tablespoons or 100 milliliter of the aloe vera gel, which comes out of a bottle. Make sure that there are no additives. I have a good aloe vera gel. I found that on Amazon and I'll link it down below. Now guys, what should you eat? Let's talk about healing foods. Part number two, the meat of this video is do's and don'ts. Let's start with the do's. In the beginning, I highly recommend you to focus on cooked vegetables. Apart from the ones that we recommended here, so aloe vera and celery juice, those are excluded of that. But in the beginning, the best thing is to focus on cooked vegetables. There are four healing foods that I recommend the most that you should include if you want to heal your gastritis. Cabbage, fennel, potatoes and sweet potatoes. You can make a stew out of them or a soup uh, out of those ingredients and you could should consume them at least once per day in a meal, either lunch or for dinner. Now cabbage is great because it contains sulfur. It contains sulfur components which help to heal gastritis and they also speed up the healing of ulcers where the toxins the medication, the pathogens have burned holes or wounds into your stomach lining. Cabbage helps because it contains sulfur. Fennel is very soothing for your digestive tract and it, improve, it provides essential minerals that help you heal the stomach lining and prevent further damage. And then the third and fourth are potatoes and sweet potatoes. Those guys, they are so underestimated. Potatoes even more than sweet potatoes but they are the calming force when it comes down to healing your digestive issues. Even if you don't have gastritis and you just have other digestive issues, bringing in those mineral dense potatoes, sweet potatoes, they contain a lot of electrolytes, they contain vitamins, and they help to restore your body's ability to heal itself because they are also super easy to be digested and broken down. It doesn't put more stress on your digestive enzymes, on your bile production from your liver, which is likely impaired doesn't need a lot of stomach acid, just super easy to be digested. So what you should eat for healing foods, focus more on cooked foods, cabbage, fennel, potatoes and sweet potatoes as a stew or a soup one time per, per day. Now guys, before we come to the don'ts, what you shouldn't eat if you want to heal gastritis, question of the day, I'd love to know from you what helped you heal gastritis already. Like what of the steps, maybe there are some steps that I mentioned that you want to include in your day or there are some things that you're doing already. I heard in the last video, for example, people doing lemon water was very soothing for them. Although everybody tells you don't drink lemon water for gastritis, but it's actually soothing. So you can include that as well. What are you doing that helps you to heal your gastritis? Let me know in the comments below, I'm curious to hear. And you also help other gut feelers to improve their symptoms as fast as possible. Don'ts. That's what you shouldn't eat if you want to heal gastritis. Number one, spicy foods. Pepper, for example. Vinegar is another one. You don't want to drink, even if it's apple cider vinegar, no vinegar for you. Way too aggressive, very irritating. It's also metabolized in alcohol, your liver doesn't like it, forget about the vinegar. No vinegar, no spicy foods. Second one is processed foods. 
Now the processed foods, especially if they contain citric acid. Citric acid in processed food is always synthetical. It has nothing to do with what I mentioned before with citrus fruits with lemon water, which is a live water, contains digestive enzymes and minerals. Nothing. It's often corn derived. Also magnesium citrate. You don't want to do that neither. I have a video on magnesium supplements if you're interested in that one. Citric acid is highly highly, highly irritating for your stomach lining, as well as other processed foods. So MSG, natural flavors, which are never natural. Stay away as much as possible from processed food and do your own foods or get it from an organic shop where you know they don't put anything strange in there. Okay, so no spicy foods, no processed foods. Third one is highly recommend you if you want to overcome gastritis and start healing, lower or better eliminate animal protein for now. Animal protein is depleting your stomach acid. So you already have not enough stomach acid if you have gastritis. If you don't know that, please watch the video about gastritis causes, causes symptoms and causes of gastritis. You don't have enough healthy, happy stomach acid. You don't have enough digestive enzymes. So you actually, you do not have the force to break down those proteins, those animal proteins, which are more dif difficult to be digested than plant proteins from spirulina or quinoa, for example. Oh yeah. So you want to make sure you lower those proteins to prevent the possibility of gut rattening. Yeah, so food, if it's not digested well, especially high fat, high protein sources, because you don't have enough HCL, you don't have enough digestive enzymes, then the food goes down into your, into your gut and starts rottening, producing ammonia gas, which gives you headaches, which inflames your whole body more, more gastritis symptoms, more pain. We don't want to do that. Lower animal protein or eliminate it if possible. Fourth one are dairy products. Dairy products, guys, fat and sugar. This is what they are. Milk, cheese, cakes is the worst because it feeds pathogens. It keeps your stomach acid. It lowers your stomach acid, it keeps your blood sugar levels high for a long period of time, which is the perfect feeding ground for all those H. pylori, for all the viruses, for the for strep, for resistant strep of strep, to just feed and eat. So we don't want to do that. You don't want to do dairy products because they impair your digestion. If this is new for you and you think like, oh my god, I need my kefir for my protein, for my probiotics, then please watch a video I'm linking down below. It's called why do dairy products etc make your chronic struggles worse or something like that i'll link that also up here so fourth one dairy products fifth one is alcohol and caffeine last but not least those guys depleting your hcl level caffeine prevents you from absorbing minerals i have so much more information about that but it stresses the liver yeah of course alcohol and your adrenals from the caffeine prolongs your healing journey. I know this is hard, especially if you're suffering and coffee is your last thing you, you can hold on. Oh my God, I, I feel more awake, I feel energized. I have a video called uh, um, One Thing That Steals Your Energy, which is coffee. I give you some alternatives that you can incorporate that also give you some pleasure and at the same time they are beneficial for your body. So, summary, what are the five things you should avoid if you want to heal from gastritis? Spicy foods, pepper, and also vinegar, any types of vinegar, apple cider vinegar as well. Processed foods, especially citric acids, you want to lower animal protein, you want to, don't want to eat any kinds of dairy product, milk, butter, cheese, kefir, anything, nada. And you want to lower or eliminate alcohol and caffeine. Now guys, don't worry if you feel like, oh my god, oh my god, I just, I, this is too much, I have all this pain and now she tells me all of, I have to change my whole life. Don't worry, I'm going to, in the bonus tip, we're going to talk about the number one thing that can make a huge difference and the first step to healing your gastritis, even if you can't do all of those things that I've just mentioned in the diet section, the gastritis diet. Okay, guys, so stick to me till the end. You're not going to be completely in despair after watching this video, okay? Now, last but not least, last section, third, healing herbs. There are two herbs that are amazing for healing gastritis. Number one is ginger. Ginger is great for ourselves because it's one of the most powerful natural painkillers. It helps you with balancing the acidity and also rebuild your stomach acid. It lowers inflammation and you can do it 
it, it's just so simple. It's inexpensive. You get it everywhere and you can either use it as a tea. So boil some ginger, put some ginger in, put some boiling water on it, or you use it raw grated over fresh food or in a smoothie. Now, raw is better because then you have more of the enzymes that are coming with every living food once you crush the cells. But if tea is the only option you can do, then do a tea twice per day is also good. Apart from ginger, I highly encourage you to include licorice root. Licorice root is very soothing for your digestive system and that it destroys those pathogens that produce the unhealthy acid that actually cause the pain and cause the acid reflux. And that also suppress your natural stomach acid. So you want to make sure you want to kill off those bad guys. And licorice root is one of the best things to do. It's very gentle as well. If you have high blood pressure, however, you want to leave out this tip and focus more on the ginger because licorice root can raise blood pressure a little bit. Just a little bit. It's a precaution thing. Okay, so getting that as a tea or as an alcohol-free tincture. I'm going to link you the licorice root extract that I'm recommending in the description below if you want to check that out. Licorice root extract is a little bit more powerful, a little bit more concentrated than if you do the tea, but if you want to start with tea, that's fine too. Now guys, before we come to the bonus content, again, I'd love to know from you what of the foods that are you eating helps you with healing gastritis. Maybe you're doing some of the tips I mentioned in this video, or you do something else like lemon water and you really feel improvements, share them in the comments below, share your knowledge so we can all benefit from each other in the gut feeder community. Okay? Bonus tip. If you can't do all of those things that I mentioned, you feel, oh my god, this is overwhelming, just give me one thing I can do, I have pain, I can't work, I need something like simple, practical right now. The number one thing, guys, which will make the biggest difference if you just do that, is celery juice. It doesn't taste good, but it's highly effective. 16 ounces or as much as you can do until you come to 16 ounces. If you can just do eight in the morning, start with that and then increase your levels while you're healing. 16 ounces of straight, straight, not mixed, straight celery juice in the morning on an empty stomach as a juice, not blended. It's going to make the biggest difference. If you want to learn more, again, there's a playlist down below all about celery juice. There's a lot you can do to heal your gastritis naturally. It starts with celery juice in the morning, coconut water as a snack, aloe vera gel in the evening before you go to bed to help to heal the scar tissue, eating healing cooked foods like cabbage, fennel, potatoes, sweet potatoes, avoiding spices and vinegar, high spices like pepper for example, condiments, stay away from processed food especially if they contain citric acid or MSG or natural flavors, anything like that. Reduce or best eliminate animal protein so you don't have food rattling in your gut. Especially things like pork and chicken and fish and meat. While you're healing you can come back to them. I'm not a you have to be vegan kind of person that's not about that, it's about your healing process. And stay away 100% from alcohol and best also minimize your coffee intake. Extra healing foods that you can include, herbs are ginger and licorice root into your daily healing protocol so you get better as soon as possible. Now let me know what you are doing right now, what are your healing foods in the comments below.